Johnny Valentine was an American professional wrestler with a career spanning almost three decades. He has been inducted into four halls of fame for his achievements in wrestling. Wisniewski was the father of professional wrestler Greg the Hammer, Valentine. He held numerous world champion and regional titles, including the NWA United States Championship. He had long-running rivalries with Bobo Brazil, Pat O'Connor, Buddy Rogers, Antonio Rocca, Luthez, Harley Race, The Shake, Wahoo McDaniel, Fritz Von Erich, Bruno Sarmartino, Johnny Powers, Antonio Inoki and Jack and Jerry Briscoe. He alternated between being a villain and a hero during the golden era in the 1940s through 1960s of wrestling. In 1975, he was injured in a plane crash, he suffered a broken back and was forced to retire from wrestling. He worked briefly as a manager before retiring altogether. He suffered from several health problems during his career, which worsened considerably after a fall in 2000. He died the following year. Professional Wrestling Career Wisniewski debuted as a professional wrestler in 1947, wrestling Carl Noena in Buenos Aires. In order to make the matches as believable as possible Wisniewski consisted the men he faced in the ring hit him as hard as possible. From that he earned a strong reputation as being a very tough man. On New Year's Day, 1950, Buddy Rogers defeated Wisniewski in the finals of a United States title tournament. He also competed in the NWA's Capital Wrestling Territory. Jerry Graham, who was a co-holder of the Northeast version of the NWA United States Tag Team Championship, selected Wisniewski in November 1959 to take over the title from Graham's injured partner. They were beaten for the title belts the following April, but Wisniewski took on a new partner, Buddy Rogers, to regain the championship by defeating the fabulous Kangaroos on November 19, 1960. Wisniewski's rivalry with the Kangaroos continued, as the Kangaroos regained the belts in a rematch one week later. Wisniewski went over one year without holding a championship before teaming with a new partner, this time Bob Ellis, to defeat the Kangaroos and take back the championship. Wisniewski and Ellis lost the belts to Buddy Rogers and handsome Johnny Barrend in a match where Arnold Scoalan subbed for Ellis. But the belts were still up on Washington, D.C. TV. Rogers and Barrend then defeated the real team of Wisney Scanellis two pins to one in a main event at Madison Square Garden. In Toronto, Wisniewski and three different partners won the international tag team title during 1963. Wisniewski left the territory without dropping the title. He wrestled in Japan in the mid-1960s and had a series of matches against Antonio Inoki. Those matches are regarded as the bouts that helped build Inoki into an elite wrestler in Japan. As Valentine was the highest profile foreign wrestler Inoki had ever faced at the time, Valentine put over Inoki in the matches, dropping the Toronto version of the NWA United States Heavyweight Championship to him catapulting Inoki's career in the process. Wesley School also continued to wrestle in the former Capital Wrestling Territory, which had since been renamed the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. While there, he had one last reign with what was then known as the WWWF United States Tag Team Championship, as he teamed with Tony Parisi to hold the belts for seven months in 1966. Wisniewski later turned on Parisi, however, this ignited a brief feud with Bruno Sarmartino, who was billed as Parisi's cousin. Because Wisniewski was also wrestling in Texas at the same time, he got only sporadic main event matches against Sarmartino during this feud. Wisniewski then moved on to the Florida Territory, where he won the NWA Florida Heavyweight Championship three times. In Georgia, he defeated Tim Woods for the NWA Georgia Heavyweight title on May 10, 1968, and repeated his win in a match against Doug Gilbert to retake the title. In Missouri, Wisniewski competed for the Missouri Heavyweight Championship in a tournament to determine the inaugural champion. 
He defeated Baron von Raschke before withdrawing from the tournament due to focus his efforts on the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. After Harley Race won the tournament and the title belt, Valentine defeated him to win the championship on January 19, 1973. He dropped the belt to Terry Funk the following month. Because Funk used a chair as a weapon in front of the referee, fans demanded a rematch. Valentine was unable to compete due to heart problems. However, so Gene Kinnisk took his place and won the belt from Funk. In October 1972, Wesnisk defeated Jacques Rougeau for the International Heavyweight Championship, but was stripped of the title in January 1973, after he no-showed the rematch. In the National Wrestling Federation, Wesnisk defeated Johnny Powers for the NWF North American Heavyweight Championship on September 1, 1972. Powers beat Wisniewski for the title in October, but Wisniewski won the title again from Abdullah the Butcher on October 19. He was stripped of the title following a match with Johnny Powers. On November 23, he captured the title from Powers but lost it again in January. In the Japan Wrestling Association, Wisniewski won the international tag team title on February 22, 1973 and then the United National Heavyweight Championship on March 2. He lost the tag title on March 6 and the United Heavyweight title on March 8. Back in the National Wrestling Federation, in August 1973, Wisniewski beat Jacques Rougeau, Sr., to win the North American Heavyweight Championship. He lost it to Johnny Powers in late 1973. In Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, Wisniewski was awarded the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship in January 1974, after Jerry Briscoe left to work in Japan. Burkat Wright defeated Wisniewski in a boxing match to win the title on May 13, 1974. He won the championship from Sonny King on November 4 and won the United States Heavyweight Championship on July 4, 1975. After Wisniewski was paralyzed in a plane crash, he remained active in professional wrestling as a manager in Jim Crockett. JR's Texas-based promotion. From his wheelchair, Wisniewski managed Dale Hay, who competed as Dale Valentine in a storyline that saw the two promoted as brothers. The storyline did not last long, however. Personal life. Wisniewski was originally from Maple Valley, Washington. He was a devout Christian for many years. He was married to a woman named Sharon, who worked across the street from his apartment in the mid-1970s when they met. She later visited John as he was recovering in hospital from his 1975 plane crash. Sometime later the relationship ended. Years later while on braces and crutches he managed to drive around her neighborhood for hours until he found her house. As he slowly walked to the front door Sharon back quote s daughter announced to Sharon that Johnny Valentine was in front of their home. Sharon having been ill refused to go to the door and hid. Wisniewski insisted he wouldn't leave until he saw her. When she finally came to the door he asked her to marry him and she accepted. Following John back quote s death, Sharon planned to write a book titled A Never-Ending Love Story of a Wrestler and His Wife about their life together. He also had a son, Greg Valentine, who has wrestled professionally since 1970 and is best known as Greg the Hammer Valentine. Ric Flair, who wrestled with Wisniewski, has described him as a quiet person who kept to himself. He was also known for making his demands clear to employers and not backing down, and many stories continue to circulate about practical jokes, or ribs, that he played on his fellow wrestlers. On October 4, 1975, Wisniewski was in a private airplane with Ric Flair, David Crockett, Bob Bruggers, and Tim Woods. Because of the weight of the passengers, the pilot realized that he could not take off without reducing the amount of fuel the plane was carrying. Partway through the flight, the aircraft ran out of fuel and crashed near Wilmington, North Carolina. The crash broke Flair's back, killed the pilot, and broke Wesnishi's back. 
a bone fragment became embedded in his spinal column, paralyzing him for life and forcing him to have a clamp implanted to hold the bones in his back together. In August 2000, Wisniewski fell from his front porch and had a number of injuries and complications. These included a fractured back, pneumonia, staph infection, collapsed lungs and kidney failure. He was originally hospitalized for a high fever, but died when his heart gave out. His wife had purchased medical insurance through a health maintenance organization, but the organization was unwilling to pay for Wisniewski's extended stay in the hospital. As a result, Luthez's wife convinced the Cauliflower Alley Club to help contribute to Wisniewski's medical bills. Valentine has been recognized for his wrestling career by several sources. Shortly after his death, he was named the 2001 recipient of Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Stanley West an Award, a recognition given for lifetime achievement in professional wrestling. He has also been inducted into several halls of fame. He was a member of the inaugural class of inductees to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame in 1996. He is also a member of the Stampede Wrestling Hall of Fame. In 2006, he was inducted into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame, and he joined the St. Louis Wrestling Hall of Fame the following year. Valentine on April 17, 2010 was inducted into the IHWE Hall of Fame in Fort Worth, Texas just days before the anniversary of his death. David Fuller who credits Valentine for mentoring him in 1998 inducted Valentine. His widow Sharon accepted the induction and quoted, Out of all the Hall of Fames John has been inducted to. This IHWE Hall of Fame is the most important. Valentine received a standing ovation and was given a rose by every IHWE superstar. Death Valentine died peacefully in River Oaks, Texas on April 24, 2001. He was 72. In wrestling. Finishing moves the brain buster. Signature moves diving elbow vertical suplex. Nicknames, handsome, Johnny Valentine blonde monster. Championships and accomplishments. All Japan Pro Wrestling. NWA International Tag Team Championship with Killer Carl Krupp. NWA United National Championship, Capital Wrestling Corporation, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, NWA United States Tag Team Championship with Buddy Rogers, Bob Ellis, and Dr. Jerry Graham, WWWF United States Tag Team Championship with Tony Parisi. Championship Wrestling from Florida, NWA Brass Knuckles Championship, NWA Florida Heavyweight Championship, NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship, NWA Southern Tag Team Championship with Boris Malenko, LNG Promotions, LNG Caribbean Heavyweight Championship, IHW Entertainment. Hall of Fame, International Wrestling Association, IWA International Heavyweight Championship, International Wrestling Association, IWA International Heavyweight Championship, Maple Leaf Wrestling, NWA International Tag Team Championship with Bulldog Brower, The Beast, Jim Hady, and Whip Billy Watson, NWA United States Heavyweight Championship, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, NWA Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship, NWA United States Heavyweight Championship, Mid-South Sports, NWA Georgia Heavyweight Championship, National Wrestling Alliance, NWA Hall of Fame, NWA Detroit, NWA United States Heavyweight Championship, NWA United States Television Championship, NWA Los Angeles, NWA Beat the Champ Television Championship, NWA Mid-Pacific Promotions, NWA Hawaii Tag Team Championship with Ripper Collins, NWA Minneapolis Wrestling and Boxing Club, NWA World Tag Team Championship with Chet Wallach, NWA Western States Sports, NWA North American Heavyweight Championship, National Wrestling Federation, NWF Heavyweight Championship, 
NWF North American Heavyweight Championship. Pro Wrestling Illustrated PWI Most Inspirational Wrestler of the Year PWI Stanley West An Award in 2001 Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum Southwest Sports, Inc. NWA Big Time Wrestling NWA Brass Knuckles Championship NWA American Heavyweight Championship NWA American Tag Team Championship with Wahoo McDaniel and Thunderbolt Patterson NWA Texas Heavyweight Championship NWA Texas Tag Team Championship with Rip Rogers NWA United States Heavyweight Championship 1 St. Louis Wrestling Club NWA Missouri Heavyweight Championship Stampede Wrestling NWA Canadian Heavyweight Championship Stampede Wrestling Hall of Fame St. Louis Wrestling Hall of Fame Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame Won this championship would be renamed the NWA American Heavyweight Championship in May 1968 it would go on to be renamed the WCWA World Heavyweight Championship after world-class withdrawal from the NWA in February 1986.